Hello everyone and welcome to another Blistech Solution Tuesday Tech Tip and in today's Tech Tip we're going to talk, about, talk to you about setting up multiple Outlook profiles so you might wonder why you might want to do that and there are a lot of reasons and a couple of them are maybe you have multiple email addresses that you use whether there's you know separation between work and personal or multiple different work emails if you do work for other businesses and you might want to keep them in a separate profile rather than having them listed all down here or um, you might be experiencing problems with Outlook and one way to sort of eliminate any corruption in the profile is to create a new profile and that basically gives you a fresh start. So I'm going to show you how you do it. So first of all we need to go into control panel. So if I type on the search here and type control and then open control panel. So now we want to change to large icons and then we see Microsoft uh, Mail, Microsoft Outlook. So we'll just open that. So from here, we've got some options here. We've got, we can manage our email accounts, data files, but I'm interested in the profile. So click show profiles. And here we've got our default profile that's created when you first set up Outlook. So we're going to set up a new one, click add, give it a name, click OK. And then we want to put in our new email address that we want to add here, or the email address we want to set our profile up for. Put the password in. So now we just need to go through the steps of authorizing this account, which I'll do now. Okay, and then we get the option of whether we want our organization to manage this device. Um, so if you're connected to an external organization that the computer doesn't belong to, I take the tick out of that box. If it's for your business, then keep the box ticked. And we'll say OK. And then we're done. And just a few more steps to follow. And it will happen automatically. And then, congratulations, it's all set up. So, uh, take the ticket over that box and click Finish. <clears throat> so, there we have two profiles listed. So, if we want to switch between these profiles, uh, we can basically change the option here to say prompt for the profile to be used and if I close Outlook and reopen it here yeah, I'll get prompted for which profile we want to use so I'm going to choose the new profile and say OK and our new profile is loaded and our emails will start to be synchronized you see it's saying here updating inbox so all of our emails when they start to be downloaded and our new profile is created if I close Outlook again and reopen it I can select the previous profile now I might not want to keep choosing the profiles each time so what I can do here is under options I can select their new profile to be the default profile and stop prompting uh, for the profile to be used. So that means the next time it will always go into the same profile. And if we want a selection again, we just go back into the control panel and change those settings. So I hope that uh, this tip has, uh, has helped and given you some useful information. And I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.